passive cooling is when a home creates an environment where it can let go of the heat that it gains. Usually in Queensland, passive cooling is created by the use of natural ventilation with crossflow ventilation. What are the other methods of passive cooling? Well, shading a large thermal mass is a great way to create passive cooling. The sun is lower in the winter, which means the shading angle is higher in the summer. So it's easy to block out sun with a projection from the window or an external blind, but still let in lower sun to capture heating um, in the winter. If you can keep that thermal mass cool throughout the hot day, that will then radiate that cool temperature back into the home. Because Victoria is a heating climate, we don't actually need to worry too much about mechanical cooling in our climate. So we can manage thermal temperature in the summer with ceiling fans and crossflow ventilation in most instances. So making sure that every window is operable and that operable windows are opposite each other to create breeze paths through the house. So in Queensland, we have a really, really great opportunity to understand where the prevailing breezes are for a site and understand where we're going to get those chances to get that natural ventilation. And some of the tricks we use are creating roof forms that are designed to orientate to the prevailing breeze so that we can capture those cooling breezes and bring them into the home. People think that air conditioning your home is really the only option you've got for cooling your home. However, in our experience, we've got some other tricks that we've been able to employ, such as positioning fountains and water features in locations where they can get natural ventilation flowing across them, or using those decorative architectural elements like a fountain or a water feature to wash over a brick wall or a block wall, which then has air passing through it and keeps that cool. Those are just some of the options that you can have as opposed to air conditioning. And a well-designed home can explore those and use them to your advantage. So a great way to optimise the passive cooling, so the natural ventilation, is to use ceiling fans. Now ceiling fans are quite a low energy response to an ability to create air circulation and air quality in a home. And we found them in our projects to be essential, particularly in Queensland, for creating a really, really subtle, beautiful, natural breeze where there is none.